Morecambe, Lancashire. The Radfords are expecting their 20th baby. Britain's biggest family is about to get even bigger. His estimated fetal weight is seven pounds, one ounce. Mm. He's absolutely beautiful. He's a little chubby, isn't he? And it's not the only thing Sue and Noel will be celebrating. Who would have thought, right, that we would be having our 20th around about our 25th mm. wedding anniversary? He, he wouldn't even think we'd still be having kids. Well, I know. And our silver wedding, but you know? It is crazy, isn't it, when mm. you think of it like that? In a year of two major milestones, will the Radfords finally decide that when it comes to babies, enough is enough? I think it's true that it'll have no more kids. Uh, and then it'll be different from my mum without having a, a bum. It does feel like that's the time now to stop. It's like a good... To be finished. ...good point to finish on, yeah. In a nine-bedroom house in Morecambe. Not scared. Come on, sweet, it's time to get up. No! The 19 Radford children that make up Britain's biggest brood are about to begin their day. Come on. I'm going to stop. It's not an everyday thing to be living with 20 people in a house. It can be hectic. If you want a bit of peace and quiet after a long day, you're not getting it. All the peace and quiet you get when you sleep. 42-year-old Sue and 47-year-old Noel are addicted to having babies. <laughs> Where the average British family has just two, you got those ones? they are about to have their 20th. <laughs> well, we always said, didn't we? We said years ago that, like, the finish having children when Sue's 40 or when we've had 20. Um, we got past the 40-year-old bit and we just carried on. Thought, well, we'll carry on till we're 20, then we'll stop. Yeah. And here he is. More. More. Are they for Phoebe? Phoebe. I love the way she says that. 36 weeks pregnant, very big, back's hurting. Yeah, just about had enough now, really. Tilly? Just want to just sit down. <laughs> James, is Jack up? There's now like 20 of us, so it's almost like they have a baby like every year. Sue has been having babies for most of her adult life. The Radford kids range from just 12 months to 28 years old. We could have just have had the two children and we could have had, you know, fancy cars, but it's not the same as having what we've got, you know. What we have is definitely it is better than winning the lottery. Happiness for us is seeing, you know, your children growing up and watching them and how Playing happy they together, are. Playing together, having fun. And having all of their siblings around them. I think that for us is, mm. is happiness, isn't it? Mm. Can't get any better than that. Breakfast time in the Radford home means cereal. Boxes and boxes of it. Feeding the equivalent of two football teams comes at a price. It's more expensive, obviously, because there's a lot of us, but it's as expensive as you want it to be. You can go shopping, you can do budget shopping, you can do budget meals and everything like that, which is what we have to do. Cupboards are bare, these lot have stripped it like vultures, so we're having to come in and do a big shop and um, restock. I think it's expensive when my mum and dad go shopping because they have to get lo <laughs> loads and loads of shopping. Like, loads. How many have you got there? How many is that? 75. 75 meatballs. We get two each. Say if we have fish fingers for tea, that'll be 4, 16, that'll be 48, 50. It's fish fingers, sausages, it's the same again there. Bangers. You have no idea, have you? When you come home, you oh, there's nothing in. 75 meatballs. Now, Chris, they're best. Yes. If they all have a packet each a day... Which they don't, they, they so have more than that. That's another 100 and odd packets of crisps a week. <laughs> Two, three boxes of cereals a day. So that's 20, 21 boxes a week. Milk is... 18 pints a day. Is it? Yeah. 72. A lot more. About 90 odd pints of milk a week. 
Dad, can we get these? No, we're not getting Cocoa Pop. Put them back. Why? Why can't we get these? When we're at the supermarket shop, it's like just chaotic because everyone goes, can, can I, I get tea? something? Because they've got something. Steady. Toilet roll, my God. Oh, yeah, That'll be 20 roll. out of them a week, yeah. easily. You'll come to the toilet one morning, there'll be the whole one just Down dunked in. Every they? time. Two trolley loads buys just enough to last the Radford's hungry horde three days. With a weekly food budget of £300, there's no room for luxuries. That wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, I know they snuck some chocolate milkshake in and a few sweets here and there, but come here. <laughs> We've got round relatively unscathed. I'm ready for home, though. I'm ready for getting out of here. OK, you want to walk? We don't run the high life, do we? We don't have flash cars, flash I think when you have a big family, you have to just accept yeah. that you're never going to be a millionaire yeah. because you, your money is going to go on your children. And it's not just the weekly food shop that eats into the Radfords family budget. Right, girls, come on. There are other everyday essentials that need to be catered for as well. We're uniform shopping, we're not dress shopping. So that's the one that you're not getting. Well, that's too big for you and, and that's a 90 is 10, isn't it? Right, that's absolutely no good at all. We'll have to go somewhere else for that then. That was the bigger one, wasn't it? Yeah, that. I think the main thing is really the school shoes, the jumpers and new shirts. I try not to take no with me because you don't like it. No, I just look, all I do, I pick up, I don't even look at the show, I just look at the price tag underneath it. Oh my God. We buy bits and pieces throughout the year for the uniform, but it's definitely the big bulk is going back to school. Yeah, costs a fortune. To provide for his ever expanding brood, Noel runs a family pie shop, ably assisted by three of his elder children. Sophie, Chloe, and Dan. Yeah, I, I enjoy working with the kids. I know if Sophie or Chloe throw a sickie. That's <laughs> me. Yeah, I know whether they're lying or not. I can just go, no, you're not ill. Get up, you're coming in. Two years ago, Chloe was the first Redford child to go to university. But she dropped out before completing her course. Uni? Waste of time, waste of money. The party side of it was good. I'd go back to uni just for... Just for the party side of it, but it's your job, isn't it? I do say Chloe can promote herself to whatever title she likes. The pay packet will stay the same, but she'll still be, she can call herself whatever if she I likes. If I want to be the boss, I can call myself that, but I don't get paid anymore. <laughs> I'm hoping that just because we've got the shop, that the kids don't think, well, it's not, I don't really need to make as much effort. I've obviously been pretty much a stay at home mum for 28 years. Definitely think that. The children, they want to do their own thing. They're all wanting to have the careers out mm. and they do different things. 24-year-old Sophie, already a mum of three herself, didn't always plan to sell her dad's pies. When I was younger, I kind of always wanted to be a police officer. But uh, three children, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Yeah. I didn't plan to have three kids. Uh, I had two. And then, obviously, Leo wasn't planned. But, obviously, we had him anyway, but I would not have any more. <laughs> I'm definitely not following him in Mum's dad's footsteps. While some of the older Radfords help out in the family business, eight of the younger ones are still at school. Everybody's back after the school holiday, so a bit of a shock to the system getting everybody up and out of bed. The younger ones are fine getting up out of bed, but James and like Luke, not so good. <laughs> And Hallie's still absolutely fast asleep upstairs. She's lazy bones, isn't she? Good morning, Hallie. Come on in. Good morning. For child number 16, it's a red letter day. It's five year old Casper's first day at school. There he is. Come on, big man. I'm a big boy now. Yeah. Are you excited? It's a really big step and it's a big thing for them as well, isn't it, when they start school? And I think with Casper starting school, it's been that bit more because he was the baby of the family for quite a while, it was wasn't it? was a big it? gap, wasn't it? So mm. I think him starting school is a big adjustment. Yeah, can you remember what your teachers told? 
when you hand your child over to somebody else during the day, you know, you don't feel quite as needy, do you? Because they're the ones that are taking care of your child for like six hours, which is a long time, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I don't feel quite as wanted. <laughs> oh, bless him, I put his uniform on him this morning and I was like, oh, he's all grown up. He's a big boy now, aren't you? Do you like your uniform? Yeah. Come on then. Oscar, come and hold Casper's hand. Even though he's one of the older ones there, he still is so small. Oh, these steps kill me off. Oh, we did it. So quiet, no noise. Oh, so quiet. With the kids at school, it's just Sue and two little ones left at home. It's really weird, isn't it? It's gone from so noisy and bubbly to like, no noise. For, for some people, you know, they'd, they'd have two tiny children and they would be like, oh, he is really eerily quiet. Hey. Where's Hallie's ears? <gasps> With Sue's due date fast approaching, it's time for one of her regular checkups at the health clinic. Hello. Hi. Three years ago, Sue lost her 17th baby, Alfie. There we go. Look at that lovely bump. And every pregnancy since has been closely monitored. Sticking something out. Yeah, I think that's his bottom up, is it? I think so. Does he feel like a whopper? The pregnancies since we've lost Alfie have been quite high risk because um, you just always are classed as high risk when you have stillbirth. This is the Radfords' first baby boy since losing Alfie. His pregnancy has been a little bit more anxious for me, really been a little bit more on edge. That feeling just does never go. <laughs> wow. There's his little heart ticking away nicely. With us losing Alfie, there was never ever a reason why we lost him. They never they never found, never one, found did out, they? no, they didn't know. You worry more because Because there is no reason it, it could happen again. The latest Redford edition appears to be in rude health. But as Sue is a mum of 42, no one is taking anything for granted. He looks a bit grumpy, doesn't he? There's his foot, look. Oh, my God, look at the size of that. Foot. That's what he keeps yeah. poking out at me. There are risks, as with any pregnancy. With ladies like Sue, you tend to be vigilant, you know, and keep a very close eye. Hey. Say cheese. Nice, you know, we? Come on then, we're gonna go. You're right. You're gonna wear bye bye. Bye. Right. bye bye. See you later. Bye. With only a few days left before doctors want to induce the baby, Sue is preparing herself. Thought, right, best make a start on packing the bag just in case things kick off. It's just choosing the little outfits, isn't it? So cute. Because I have had a lot of children, you know, some of the labours have been really, really quick. You know, Katie was only 10 minutes, it was recorded labour of 10 minutes. Casper was only 16 minutes, and so you never know. I mean, some labours can be long and drawn out, and others can be really, really quick. And I think the closer that obviously it gets, the more nervous and anxious I'm getting, really. Oh, you're coming out. Come on. <laughs> Sue and Noel Radford are about to have their 20th child. But that's not all they're celebrating this year. Right. Right now, we've got a bit of a surprise for you. To mark their silver wedding anniversary, they've planned something special for the entire family. Right, can anybody, does anybody have any ideas what's in the box? It's a clue to where we're going. Open it and find out. Careful. Stop it. Stop it! Right, listen, listen, listen! Oh my God! 
that didn't last what long. What does it say on that? Surprise, we're going to Florida! <laughs> the holidays to us, it's all the family together. So we're all off to Florida. Yeah. We're both big kids anyway. Oh, right? yeah, definitely. We wanted to really be able to involve the kids mm. in in our special anniversary so that we get to make special memories with the kids that they'll treasure forever, mm. won't they? So we've just been told that we're going to Florida. So yeah, I'm so excited. I feel like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Before the Redfords can embark on their trip of a lifetime, there's the small matter of Sue making her 20th trip to the maternity ward. We've, we've both said, haven't we, that we think this is going to be the last one. But we have said that a few times now. I'm thinking it is. I, think, I don't think we'll be back doing this journey, not for ourselves anyway. Maybe running one of the kids there in the future, but I think that's it probably for us. A bit nervous, but be fine. You get back in that delivery suite and think, oh my God, what have I done? No matter whether it's your first or your 20th, uh, it's still an anxious time. You know, you never know how it's going to go. The pain never, ever gets any easier. It's still always just as painful. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> deep breathing. Yes, deep breathing. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> this is our first little boy since we've lost Alfie, so it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be quite emotional when he gets here, when he arrives, so it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a bit of a funny feeling, I think, mm. isn't it? <laughs> With Sue and Noel preoccupied in the labour ward, third eldest Chloe is left in charge. In the past, Nana and Grandad have been here to help. It's just me looking after them, so you'll find me rocking in a corner in about an hour. <laughs> we know leaving the kids with Chloe, they'll be absolutely fine. She's really responsible like that. We play fight more when um, Chloe's looking after her. How dare you! And they think everyone they can be Josh naughty. and that. And then Chloe goes, do you, do you think, because Mum and Dad aren't here, you think you can get stuff? Well, <laughs> I'm here, you know. <laughs> I don't think my mum expects me to be a parent to, to the, my brothers and sisters. They're my brothers and sisters, you know, I want to spend time with them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's a family, you know, that's just what families do. <laughs> Sometimes they can be really good when mum and dad aren't here, but today they're really trying me. Yeah, I think this is an accurate representation of the boys and then the girls. I mean, look at them, just sat nicely watching TV. And then you have this. With another boy on the way, the gender split in the Radford house isn't an even one. I'm mad because... The boys are in the league now. Oh. The girls have only got nine, they've got 11. 11 boys and nine girls. Oh. Boys are wrong. The boys just haven't done wrong. Boys are just stupid. Yeah. Please. Girls are annoying. And boys are wrong. Boys for tea. Beans on toast or chicken nuggets and chips. And three chips. Oh my God. A few hours later, Guys! the news they've all been waiting for. <laughs> After an hour of labour, Archie Rowan Radford has arrived. He was born at 8.03, literally just born pretty much. He's finally here. Yeah. Relieved he's finally here. <laughs> With the news of her baby brother Archie's safe arrival, all that's left for Chloe is to get her other siblings to bed. Bedtime. God's sake, boys. Why you can't just go to bed nicely? I don't know. Can you try sleeping here? Ooh, is this your little den? 
Oh my god. My daddy. Oh, what is it's been about five minutes and he's crying already. Get in your bed and just go to sleep. It's not difficult. Get in your bed. Where's Tilly? And Chloe's absolutely brilliant with the kids and I know that knew that the kids would be absolutely fine. Downstairs. Bed now! And I don't want to see that stupid teddy again tonight. Bed! Where's the bed, Teddy? You might be laughing now, but just wait until I tell Mum and Dad. I'm not messing around now. Get in bed. Night night. <laughs> 24 hours later, Sue is on her way home. In my own nice comfy bed. But her latest labour wasn't without its complications. About an hour after he was born, I started to lose quite a lot of blood, so then the room just filled with all of these doctors and nurses and everything, and I ended up having to have more injections to control the bleeding, which did thankfully work, but not a nice experience. The midwives have been like, we'll see you in another year then. You have another one? We're like, mm, don't think so. That's it, he's definitely going to be the last but we'll see. And so far, he's been very chilled and relaxed and not a peep out of him. Yeah. Come on. Who's this? Yeah, I'm not oh, he is really small, isn't he? Who's that, Harry? Is he your new baby brother? He's got a oh, he's my new baby. You're going to look after him? Yeah, do you want to hold? Another new baby in the house to come and have a hold of him. means even more demands on Sue and Noel's time. <laughs> People say, how can you possibly give that many children any attention at all, you know? Oh, bless you. But all of our children get a lot of attention, mm. don't they? The baby probably gets more attention because it always, because the baby always cries. And like, how the baby goes. <laughs> It's quite a big look, big one, though, isn't it? <laughs> My mum and dad have always said that they love having little babies to look after and bring up. I feel like maybe that could be a reason to why they've been having so many. Because they've, they've had a baby like every year or two. She likes having a, a young one and them feeling needed, I guess. Holly and Phoebe have been really clingy this morning. I think more so Phoebe. It's quite clingy. Yeah. As the younger children compete for Sue's attention, the older Radfords crave only one thing, privacy. It's very, you know, packed, it's very loud. Get the machinery away! Yeah! It's not that I don't want to be there, because I, I am, but it's that um, I just like to have my own space, I guess. I don't think it is too hard for the kids to find their own space in this house. We do have a big house, you know, there's, there's always somewhere for them to go and just spend time on their own, isn't there? Well, I thought I'd have my own room by now, if I'm being honest. But no, I don't. Millie has one, and she's younger than me. So I feel like there's a little bit of sexism going on in the house. They do definitely have their own space when they want it, yeah, but we find that a lot of the time they don't really want to have their own no, space, do they? I think, yeah. I don't like the privacy, because you don't get any. You get next to none, because you have to share a room. Most people have to share a room. And then even if you do have your room to yourself, you've still got the little ones barging in. I've definitely wanted to move into my own room. I think it's about time I did, to be honest, but we'll have to see how that happens. Noel and Sue have managed to escape the family home for a rare moment of privacy of their own. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Yeah, first glass of champagne since Archie. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's the day of Sue and Noel's 25th wedding anniversary. Oh, that's very nice. It is nice, isn't it, you know, to just to go out for a meal on our own. Mm. Just so we can be on our own and look at each other. You do need that space away from the kids, you know. We love them to bits, but you need to be a couple. This is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. But then all you're thinking about is, yeah. is Chloe all right with the little two at home? Mm. Right, kids, Mum and Dad have gone out. 
So before they come back, I want us all to give the house a quick once over, get it tidy for when they come back. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Let's go. You are not escaping me. You are helping. Okay. Right. Let's go try and see if we can find something for you to clean. Us on our own, we can talk about what we like. Come on, we're all doing it now. So by the time, no, because by the time you get that, four minutes and thirty seconds, we'll be done. So come on. Today, at least in the Radford household, traditional gender roles remain traditional. The boys do not do anything. The girls, the girls always do things. It's not fair because the girls always have to tidy up. I think the boys keep themselves to themselves more, whereas the girls are always with each other, doing whatever. Well, when do you normally do housework, Lee? Well, when do I normally help with the kitchen, like after tea? When do pigs fly? Never. We're too soft on the lads. They do sod all. No, I do help sometimes. No, he doesn't. I do? He doesn't. I don't want to get any disease. I don't like mopping at all. Oh, yeah. Have they cleaned up? Wow. Hey. Spotless. They don't have to do anything, love. Oh. Nothing at all. Blimey. What are they after? <laughs> A clean house isn't the only surprise that Sue and Noel have come home to. The cake. Wow, look at this. So, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. Morecambe celebrations complete. Next stop for Britain's biggest family, Florida. <laughs> to celebrate 25 years of marriage and the birth of baby Archie, the Radfords are preparing for their first ever trip across the Atlantic. Do we need to check? No, I'm not checking the passports. Oh, yeah, you need to check the passport. Check the passport. I'm not trying to do that yet. A bit freaking late, though, isn't it? We're going. Oh, we didn't put names on the front. Holiday for us is real quality family time. You know, we have this big house and the kids tend to get lost in it. Working long hours and everyday life just being so busy, to go on holiday is just a really important thing for us to do. So it'd be lovely to spend time together as a family. Who's <laughs> that? It's like Alfie, isn't it? Should we pop in the suitcase? And 17th baby Alfie isn't forgotten either. The bus is here. Why is it so small? Well, one at a time, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, it's mm, many children. The bad thing about us going on a holiday all together. It was just really noisy. Yeah, and. I guarantee someone will get lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 21, 22, 23. Oh, we've got 24. We've got an extra. I think they counted Oscar twice, to be fair. Oh, sorry, sir. I can't see. Have we got that, Chick? Right, what are you doing? 5,000 miles later, and the Radfords have made it from Morecambe to Orlando, Florida. Now it's just the small task of tracking down five car seats. Josh, get off that. And 15 suitcases. Go and get my handbag. Handbag. Getting ready to take so many people on holiday is, it's hard work. It's really hard work and it can be really stressful. You, you're constantly worried about somebody just wandering off. If you could take the airport side out or go in on holiday, it wouldn't be, it'd so be bad, great. Would it? We went to get the suitcases off the carousel only to find that Millie's suitcase is not there. So Millie's had a complete meltdown. And please, honestly, I don't even want to even be around Millie if that suitcase is not going to be there. Shut up. Is that it? Where? Get me excited like that, Mum. Disaster averted, Ellie has saved the day and found the missing suitcase. Well done. High five, Elle. High five. Well done, I found that. Minnie's now got a smile on her face. Panic over. Oh, well, we've found it now. I found it. 
place so imagine we've taken. So I'm like feeding Archie on a suit sat on a suitcase in the car park. You know even petrol I'm fumes. There. Even in the land of the supersized, Finally. the Radfords need too many buses to get around. And Sue's never driven in America before. It's the actual brake, it's the brake. Mum, I don't want you to drive it, please! I don't want you driving it! Millie, you're making no, I don't want it in this car! Right, stop. This is not right, Mum, you're driving there, people, be careful. <laughs> no, Mum, stop laughing, please! It's because it's just the brake. Where's the handbrake? Handbrake is there. Oh, of course it is. Why didn't I think of that? Is it not you sure on? that's not? No, that's it, it's off now. The Radford's home for the next two weeks is a ten-bedroom villa. Oh, it's lovely and cool in here. This kitchen is so nice. This is very posh. Wow, look at this. This is really cool. For Noel and Sue... I quite like this room. ..the annual holiday has often been followed by the annual conception. Oh, that's a big bear. Oh, God, there is no danger of number 21 being made on, on holiday. I know people, you know, they go on holiday and they come back pregnant. That will not be happening here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. What, no practising? Nothing? <laughs> no, no, no. That's no. not holiday, is it? Holiday romance may be off limits for Sue and Noel, but they're determined to make the most of the family's first trip stateside. It's a holiday of a lifetime. We're never going to do it again. It's just a one-off, our silver wedding, mm. and we wanted something really, really special. special. Not for us, but for the kids as well. That's why we chose Florida, because it's just, it is a real family place, isn't it? Yeah. And it's making memories with... A real Florida, memory maker yeah. place is Florida, mm. it's got mm. to be. Wherever the Radfords are on holiday, there are certain memories they always take with them. Since losing their 17th child, Alfie, three years ago, the family have a tradition of remembering him. If we go anywhere on holiday or anything like that, where there's a beach, we always come along, we always write Alfie's little name in the sand. Some of them don't like the beach, but we always come, so we can do that, you know. So he's been Bring with us. Bring his picture as well. Yeah, so it's just our way of sort of, you know, saying that he's here with us. He was born in the morning. We spent a good fair few hours with him in a little room that they have specially for that. Um, you yeah, know, just sat in there with him cuddled him and that was it, yeah. It was the hardest thing was leaving him behind. We knew at some point that day we would have to go and, um, yeah, that was a, a tough time. Um, well, we just come home. I remember coming through the door and Luke and Millie both getting upset. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's all right. As soon as we get to the beach, they're always running off straight to the wet bit of sand, writing his name and it, big love heart around it. So it's something that they want to do as well as, you know, as well as Sue and I. So the one we just written once, it'd be there, it'd be there, it'd be everywhere. Because it's still, still part of the family. <laughs> yeah, I guess some people, they deal with it differently, you know, they're quite happy to let it go. I don't want to look at Archie in the way that he should be Alfie, you know, he's, he's Archie. So he's just Archie and Alfie was Alfie. Well, Alfie will keep doing it forever, really. At home, Sue rarely has time alone with the older girls. So today, she's taken Sophie, Chloe and Millie off for a beauty treatment. We're having a lovely girly day out, a bit of pampering. Don't get much time to really do any, you know, hair and makeup at home. 
Those eyebrows are really looking good, so. Are they on fleek? They are. <laughs> eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> my world is so daughters and wife. Most of my life is taken up with that, so get to get out and do something with the lads and these fellas here. It, uh, yeah, brings it all back to life. As the girls bond over hair and nails, Noel and the older boys have opted for a more adventurous outing. Come on, get us! Let's go, let's go! Noel has the UK's largest family. Really? We've got 20 kids, so... <laughs> <laughs> you have all 20 here with you? No, we brought 18. Really? Yeah. I got three kids and I mean, it's hard for me to go to Disney down the road, you know? <laughs> if you need to get rid of some of the ones that are misbehaving, you know, the gators the right are good. One. You brought the right one. Yeah. Got it, okay. He, he's trying to get rid of you. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Ready, one more time. For the Radford girls, the topic of conversation is closer to home, babies. But I'm breastfeeding and Archie's only five weeks, so this is definitely not happening. I've got that covered. <laughs> Aren't you meant to get pregnant a lot easier when you're breastfeeding now? Or does that stop no. you? Or is it, is it different? It's supposed to be. It, it acts as a contraception, but it's not 100%. What the hell? Are you joking? You don't get periods, do you, when you're breastfeeding? God, that's of blown my mind. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, no. I know it's your ovulates. The girls are definitely different to the boys with us, aren't they? All the girls want to be around us and do things with us, don't they? Whereas the boys, they're off and they want to go off with their friends and do their own thing and be with the... No, and be with the brothers. Hair and makeup ready. It's a rare Radford family night out en masse. For this supersized family, supersized portions. It's our silver anniversary, silver wedding anniversary, so here we are, celebrating with all the kids, eating pizza. I can't get over them, massive, massive. Huge, great big, huge things. Susie looks absolutely stunning. I love it when she goes out and gets that done. I feel like a new woman. Yeah, oh, she's beautiful. Thank you, hon. Beautiful. Thank you, love. They all are. Fab night out, really is great. They're loving it. Not only do you know we love each other, we are our soulmates and for us, it really works, and it's absolutely fantastic. For us, it's brilliant. Some couples will go away for, like, a lovely romantic night away or nice romantic meal, but no, not us. We've got to share it with the kids, yeah. <laughs> Cheers! 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 The annual Radford holiday is usually followed by a pregnancy, but the kids think this year might be different. It does feel like 25 years marriage, 20 kids, all the new stuff going on in the house. It does feel like that's the time now to stop. It's like a good, to be finished. good point to finish on, yeah. I think it's true that it'll have no more kids. What? And then it'll be different from my mum without having a, a bump and not going to hospital, giving birth. And um, that it's going to be different, like not having a new baby. Because like, in the house has, like, and like, a baby every year. Back in Morecambe, after 25 years of marriage and 20 kids... Oh, I love you. Oh. It's a time of change for the Radfords. First casualty, the marital bed. You always have to bring the tone down, don't you? Well, I mean, th this has been the bed where uh, the magic all happens, you know, all the children have been created, if you like. We're getting a new bed, we're moving on, and a new bed's the, the start of it, for, for us anyway. So yeah, it's the end of an era. Oh, no. You all right? Good, yeah, good, are you? Yeah, nice to see, see you again. Right. Yeah, good. Hiya. <laughs> Invasion time. Yeah. <laughs> Noel and Sue, I've known them probably about seven years. They've been uh, in and out of the shop. How many is here today? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everybody. <laughs> Obviously, they've got a large family. Amen. So, yeah, good for us. I don't know. I bet I'm just best leaving her to pick it, Anna. Who makes decisions in most things in this house? Oh, that's Sue. 
If you want an easy life and, and a happy marriage, it's just easy to say yes and get on. It keeps me out of trouble then, doesn't it? Actually, I need a new mattress as well, Dad. We all do. Do you? Yeah, because your children have peed all over it. <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> well, I've seen how drunk you get, Chloe. Yeah, we are. You probably lose all control of your body. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, we've got plenty of room in this. Is it super king? Super Looks good. Actually, it's really comfy. I think we need this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we'll go for it. Yeah. Let's go for it. it. Yeah. With the decision made that there will be no more babies, Noel is taking the opportunity to have a radical clear out. Well, the next step for us now is we're going to start decluttering the house of outgrown and unwanted baby items. We're going to have a car boot. <laughs> right, if you don't behave, you get clogged. All right, who's locked the door? Who's locked the door? Roll up, roll up, come and get your baby stuff. Everything's 50 p Baby grows, nappies. <laughs> I've passed that stage. There's <laughs> so many children, have you? Um, well, we've, we've got 19, so... Oh, yeah, is it that family? Yeah, that's paper. us. Yeah. yeah. Well, he turns 13. Oh. And they just grunt. And we've got far too many of them in the house. I said, honestly, any broodiness that I may have in the future will soon be stamped out with all these moody teenagers in the house. Look at that face. <laughs> that's like a yeah. baby's. I think she's getting bored and cold and either that or she's getting fed up because we're not flogging anything. <laughs> so far, customer-wise, we've had uh, none. Yeah, it's just a disaster. Never mind. Boom, we're packed. Come on, hurry up. Right, get in, kids. Let's go. Are you coming or are you staying here? Are you coming? See you, Oscar. Yes or no? Come on, let's go. We made a grand total of eight pounds and forty pence, but it cost a tenner for pitch. <laughs> How are we doing this? Straight up. Sue and Noel hope that their latest arrival will help them get some sleep rather than hinder it. Holy moly. We've gone for the Super King. Uh, just purely so I've got some damn space to sleep for myself and when all the littlies are piling in. Well, it's the end of an era for that mattress. Start of an era for this one. So, yeah. Yeah. Happy days. You're going to get flattened? Well, yeah, I suppose it's me and Sue now sort of saying, you know, now it's our own time, isn't it? However you want to call it. Very nice. Look at that headboard. It's, it's nice to think it's just ours, but it won't be. They'll all be piling in it. Having had babies continually since she was a teenager, Sue has rarely thought about contraception for the past 25 years. So, for the first time in God knows how long, I'm uh, back on the pill, so yeah, definitely no more. I'd be really upset if I was to get pregnant again. It's just not on the agenda anymore. For me, it's time to start thinking about me. I'm going to join the gym, lose a bit of weight and just, you know, take a bit of time for me, really. It's over five years since we first met the Radfords, who then had 15 children. In that time, Noel and Sue have had five more babies. They've come to terms with the kids starting to leave home, then returning. They've lost baby Alfie. They've become grandparents and are celebrating 25 years of marriage. As the biggest year in the life of Britain's biggest family comes to an end, they're gathered for the christening of their youngest three children. Two-year-old Hallie, one-year-old Phoebe, and baby Archie. But it's lovely to welcome uh, Hallie, Archie, and Phoebe uh, for their baptisms today. Baptism says that you also have become part of an even bigger family. 
It's a chance for the Radfords to come together and celebrate their supersized family. Christ claims you for his own, receive the sign of his cross. And Christ claims you for his own, receive the sign of his cross. There we go, darling. Okay. Phoebe Willow, I baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I do definitely think that every person has, has a partner for them and I think we just found each other, didn't yeah. we? And we're on the same wavelength. I'm not even kidding you, right, but it's so weird, isn't it? Because I can be thinking something and you'll say it and, and I've just been it, thinking yeah. it at the same mm. time as I've been thinking it. Well, yeah, telepathic, aren't we? I'm telling you. What am I thinking now? <laughs> <laughs> you all throw me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how laid back you are. I love how much you love our children and how brilliant a dad you are. I really hate the fact that you leave your smelly socks on the floor. You've been quite quite gentle on me there, yeah. actually, haven't you? Go on. Mm. Well, I just I, I just love everything <laughs> about you. You're a fantastic mum. You look after the house so well for us all. Oh, I know. Um, I know. Downsize. Right, here we go. <laughs> I just wish you could cook. <laughs> mm, I love Aww. you. I know, I love you too. <laughs>